Hey, hello, welcome friend. So in this video, we are going to learn how we can convert our schedule integration into app driven integration. So let's begin. So here you can see this is our integration that xx get bi report file to SFTP server and the integration type is that schedule orchestration and we have to convert this schedule integration into app driven integration. So let's first edit the integration. So once you will edit the integration, the first endpoint you will receive or you can see is that the schedule endpoint. So we have to change this endpoint so that this integration can be converted into app driven. So how we can change? So here if you will see we have this more icon. Once you will click here, you will get last option as convert to rest trigger. So for converting schedule integration into app driven integration, we require rest connection. So once you will click here, the rest trigger type connection, whatever we created, it will ask you to select. So here I have already created XX rest connection as a app driven as a trigger and invoke. So I will select here. And the rest of the option will be the same as that the option whenever we are going to create app driven integration with the help of rest endpoint. So here first we need to provide the endpoint name. So I always prefer whenever I added any endpoint, I provide the name starting from the operation, what kind of operation the endpoint is going to do and what is the endpoint name or connection name. So here as we know this endpoint is going to help integration to initiate or start. So I will write start. And this is the rest type endpoint. So I will use rest, start rest. You can use whatever name you want, you can provide. And this is the mandatory part. We need to provide the endpoint URI. So this will be the URI that will be visible over whenever we expose this integration as a rest. So this integration is going to call the BI report and upload the file BI report data over server. So I will give them as call BI report. And now I don't want to configure any request payload or any response payload. So I will just skip this part that is the action type as a get only and just go next and done. So here you can see right now we have app the integration type as a schedule orchestration. Once this will be completed, this schedule will be converted into app driven. So it will take some time. You can see here. So our schedule integration is converted into app driven integration only. And here we have one error because we need to configure the tracing variable. So just click here and here you can configure any values. So just I will configure the URI and in tracking name it will not support any special character. So I will use that simple V name and done. So here we successfully able to convert our schedule integration into app driven integration. So here you can see what this integration is going to do is that it is first going to call the BI report and converting the BI report data into the file with the help of the stage operation and then with the help of FTP adapter it is placing the file over SFTP server. This is the basic integration. So let's save this integration and I will show you to run the integration. So as you can see this is app driven integration we can run this integration here only. So first activate this integration. I have already enabled the payload so that we can see the payload values and the log messages and all. So our integration is activated. We can directly click here and click on the test so that run. So here you can see this is the URI, whatever we provided that call BI report and this all are the API details, right? So here we don't have any parameters or request or response payload, just click here. So once you will click on this test, the integration will be executed. So you can see this is the details. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any other queries, you can comment below. And if you have not subscribed this channel yet, please subscribe this channel. Thank you so much for watching.